Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor, and thank you very much for all the comments over the last couple of episodes because I have been asking for quite a bit of input. Um, I've obviously been away for the weekend but this will be the first episode uh, since I've been back. Now, um, while I was away, Kralyurka sent me an updated version of 1.6. Uh, and I think he's running out of numbers, because <laughs> obviously we were on 1.62. Um, he's decided to call this version 1.6X. I don't know if that's X for experimental or X for extreme or <laughs> whatever he's, he's thinking is that. I'm not, not too sure where he's going with it. But as he said, it's not really a part of the 1.6 series and it's not really a part of the 1.7. Yes, I did say 1.7. Um, no real word about that yet, other than the fact that it will be worked on at some point. They've not really decided kind of what the theme is going to be. But in the meantime, he's uh, being rather kind and he's pushing out various different things. So one thing we're going to look at straight away is while we're here, is if we remove these. Like so. I might leave that one because I kind of like that. And I might Let me have a quick look. Yeah, I might need these a little bit. But in the roads, they don't have icons yet. But we've got dock roads. And we've got vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. The sandstone's moved a little bit. And that's just to do with the way the actual... Uh, <laughs> there goes the tongue straight away. It didn't take long. Two minutes into the episode and my tongue is tied. So yeah, it's to do with the way the wood actually runs. So vertical would be like this. Horizontal, like this one, and diagonal is, I kind of like it, but I'm going to go with the kind of theme of what it is at the moment. So we need the vertical one, I do believe. I'm going to stop there, because, oh no, I need the horizontal. Try again. After explaining how it works, I do it wrong. <laughs> there we are. Now we mentioned this, I think, quite a few episodes back. But it's nice that he's obviously picked up on it and had a go. And it's always nice to have different roads. So let's fix the little issue we've made here, though. I mean, they can walk out, but it's going to look a little bit strange. Should we speed it up? I know I know how much they love to build a road. So it won't take them long to come here, you would have thought. But they've got a lot of things to do at the moment. Here we go. And what I kind of like... This is kind of faded out anyway. So it kind of looks like it's got sand on it. Now, you could have said, well, maybe you could have just kept them in. Yeah, maybe I could have. But, if we come over here, where is it? Or I've placed them here, where the ground is so level, you really can't see them. So in this sort of area, it would probably look a lot better to put these new ones in. But because the ground is a little bit bumpy here, you, you did have the kind of opportunity to see that the sand really overlaying onto it. But still, I kind of like it. This area is not finished anyway. So that's one thing. Let me just speed, lower the speed of the game. Oh, and that's actually work in progress as well. So this may change. You may change the textures and things. I don't know yet. But that's that's just work in progress. We've also got... Let me... Come on, into a bit of a space. So remember a while back I asked for fences that were flush to the road. So um, he's called them edge fences, as opposed to being in the middle of the square like, like this one is. So let's just give an example of that. Right, so this one places right in the middle of the square, as you can see. Well, here's now set up an edge one so it literally runs right along the edge which is fantastic I've not had a chance to use this one yet I mean in this instance it might work out a little bit better because where the stone because you know I'm a bit finicky the stone walls overlapping a bit there I could have actually rotated it around and have it going straight into the building so that's brilliant what else do we have we have oh we're not going to talk about that one just yet we'll save that one He's also made them ghost objects as well. So let's ghost objects. So you've now got the original fence, which works as I say it's in the middle of the square, but this is now a ghost object, which you can place absolutely anywhere you wish. Again in itself that's fantastic. And he's also done the same for 
the edge fence. So that's brilliant because one of the issues we have here where I've put this edge fence in, you cannot put any objects here unless it's a ghost object. So for example, I can't put that there, but with the, uh, the ghost objects, I could. I'll tell you something, we get a lot of diseases recently. What else? Oh, this one's quite fun. I've not tried it yet. I think a lot of people will actually like this. Um, where is it? It's in this crazy cave thing here. We've got foresters. But you think, well, we've already got foresters. What could Kral Yuk have possibly con uh, concocted this time? Well, we have fruit tree foresters. So this one will be an apple tree, apricots, fig forester. Now, to my knowledge, and I've not asked like the, like the millions of questions around this, I'm guessing this will produce fruit. Will it produce wood? Possibly. I don't know. I think it might just be a like a wood forester. Um, and it just gives it a different look. But do you know what? We, is that a coffee forester? My goodness. It might be worth. Let's put one in. Let's see what we've got. Plums. Pecans. Pears. I'm thinking oranges. Yeah, there we go. Because oranges tend to like the hot climate. So I'm going to put one of these. Do you know what? I'm going to put it here temporarily because it's quite clear here. There's not many trees. So it shouldn't interrupt um, with the forester's job, so to speak. Let's put a road to it. I doubt very much I will leave it here, but we'll, we'll let that go and we'll see what it is. Uh, apparently he's done lots of other little tweaks on walls and fences. I'm not too sure what they are because I've not looked through properly. Well, this brings me to the final thing. If I pause the game. Ah, there we go. I put these little fences in to kind of mark off where the castle is going to be. And I said, it's a shame we don't have a wall. Which is big enough to make a castle wall. And now we do. So let's use one of these ones. How brilliant is that? <laughs> now again this is work in progress we do have this little archway which is quite nice but he's going to put different ones with gates there's no diagonal ones either at the moment which he's still working on I think these are fantastic in fact we might even place that one in let's have a, have a quick look to see what it looks like we'll put a couple of these either side but this is going to be the game changer. This is the one that's going to make this area actually look like a fort. Uh, while we're over here, uh, Zelfie and Kathy both mentioned about the canals and bringing them in and uh, using them as irrigation and things like that for the farms. But uh, likewise, um, Bob uh, BC mentioned having the farmland outside the castle. I think I originally mentioned having it in here. But when I actually kind of do a little bit of research and look, Look, the farmland tends to be outside the castle. So I think he's onto something there. So we could switch this to a little bit of an irrigation system. Now I said I wasn't going to flatten this mountain, but I might have to trim down just this corner here. Just to make it work properly. I don't mind having this bit, but yeah, I think we might have to do that. Um, and also Jibber, or Double E, if you go to his channel, he said that the 4x15 farm uh, should be enough for one house, which kind of links back into, uh, did I say Rob or Bob? It's my writing terrible, I think it was Rob BC. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I know there was quite a few other comments, but these ones kind of fitted in with what we were saying here. I think uh, Zelfia also mentioned having like a, a retreat kind of up in the mountains here. So we might use this area and put one of the posher houses in. I can't remember, it might have been Choctaw mentioned having like a, like an estate house. I can't remember now, it was, it was a fair few episodes back. Alright, so let's put the game back to times five. And we might remove this fence here, and we'll probably start putting the castle wall in. Just so we can kind of start flushing out this area. On this side. And we also need to kind of look at the canals. Like so. Oh, um... Rex Celsius mentioned that in one of my live streams, I think it was the first one, um, because the audio doesn't get passed through any kind of software, you just kind of hear it as the mic takes it. I was a little bit quiet at first, um, and then I kind of upped the gain on the mic so you could hear me, and he said the sound was a lot clearer because it wasn't as bassy. So I don't know if anyone else 
um, has their eardrums uh, pounded by the bass. If that is the case, then I can lower the bass in my voice, not by speaking any differently. I mean, I could speak like this, but it would sound rather strange. <laughs> so I can lower the bass through the software, um, which I might do for this episode. So if it sounds different, that could be why. So yeah, let me know what you think about that. It's no extra hardship on my part, by the way, so I don't mind doing it. Do we have a bridge on this one? We do. I see, that's the important part. So this is the most narrow, so I think... Is there a part that... Hmm. Is there a part that shrinks these down? What's this? Aha. Uh -huh. So we need... We don't need that one. We need that one first. Okay, so we need to get rid of this piece. Like so. And we will go with the new city walls. Although as uh, Crowley uh, pointed out, it says city walls here, but it still says sturdy wall. <laughs> he still needs to change that. We can put that. I think we'll, again, we'll go with this little archway for the moment until he, he adds some different things. I think we'll... Stop that one short because I'm not too sure what we're doing with this yet. We might take this one inside as well. But I'm so glad they do these extra long pieces just because it makes it a little bit easier. they doing a load of mad clicking. Okay, so we need to remove these walls as well. Like so. Where's the walls gone? Here we are. There, and we should be able to get that corner piece in once we remove that. And we also need to take out this little bit of road here, which is going to be in our way, unfortunately. There we go. It's a little, is that a little bit of glitch in there, a little bit of tearing. Oh no, oh yeah. There's a tiny gap there, isn't there? You have to really get the angle right to see that. Okay, we need to move that tiny piece of road from here. Sure, that is missing, if anything, is the little details you get on these, these bigger walls, like the bits where they shoot the arrows from and things. But I'm wondering if, on the other side of this wall... It's a shame these aren't higher up, isn't it? You could use them as a platform. This is kind of where I'm thinking. Where's the original walls? I'm pretty sure. Would that look right? Oh, we can't quite get it close enough. But where's the... I mean, if you put it... Hmm. I don't know. Let me... Let me have a look at this. Can these overlap each other? Oh, they can. Let's see what it does. Let's have a, have a little look and see how it looks. It might work, it might not. Even those towers work as well, don't they? Oh, we're getting all excited. We'd have to use the, the thinner ones here. Yeah, let's let them build. And we shall see. Right, I'm going to finish the rest of this wall. Like so. Oh, this is super fast. This is what I like. No messing around. Well, that's a little bit hard to tell what's what. Um, I think it's that way, isn't it? <laughs> We'll soon see. Now that is an insane wall, isn't it? My god. Right, we've removed this. We need to get a tiny bit of road as well, probably, just to be safe. Don't want any glitches. And we will bring the land back up. If it will let us. Probably gonna have a couple of issues because of the road there. There we go. This would make some decent farmland actually as well. So it, it is a good position. Right, how's this looking? Mm, 
I think that is not too shabby at all. The only thing is, <laughs> when you actually think about it, that's a, it's a double game. Maybe we only need the one. I mean, I like the fact of having two, but yeah, we're going to have to remove one, aren't we? But the question is, within the within here, do we have the piece? Oh, right, yeah, it just connect like that, wouldn't it? Okay. So let's remove this one. That looks quite cool. I mean, the idea of having the the fence on that side would be to stop people from falling off, but usually they'd have somewhere they could stand. Although it's not right flush against the wall, but I'm not. I'm not too bothered by that. Where's the yeah? Uh... Jesus, that's huge, but it's not going to work right there. We could probably have that on the inside as we come in. And these, did these? Oh, for a second, I thought you could place them within the wall. So we probably need. Alright, oh, this is where it's going to get a little bit of a problem. Because it'd have to sit a little bit further back. Hmm. So if that has to be more there. Why don't we have these? Should we have like a diagonal piece? No. Corners, walls. Ah, oh, we need one like that, don't we? Think we had the right one in the first place there? No. There we go. Will that work? Only one way to find out, and we'll see. So we'll leave that to build as well. Got that wall there, We're probably a little bit short on stone. Aha, we can carry on with the canal. So what we need now is the piece that... Oops. What, is it in here? Yeah, there we go. So we need, I think it was, yeah, that one, and hopefully I've lined that up right. <laughs> Quite possibly not. We'll probably go with the bridge here, is it? Oh, slightly out of line. How, <laughs> how annoying is that? <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. Oh, that's just going to drive me insane. Okay, we've got a little bit of a stop pile here. Let's chuck in. A couple more of these like shanty houses, where are they? Is it that one? No. There it is. I'll put them just here for the moment because I don't want them getting in the way of what I'm going to build here. I've got the vision of it now, I can, I can start to see it. Especially now we've got this wall and it's really marking out the area. Not too fond of this road going across here like this, but not much we can do at the moment. We need that to help speed people up. It's sandstone, bring that across here. Right, did that work? Not quite. So we need the bit that's going to straighten it up again. So let's remove this. I want to. It's got to be roughly aligned up, hasn't it? Because we can't, we can't have it not in line. Because I'm going to go crazy if we don't. And is that going to be the piece we probably need there? Yes. So we need that one. And let's see if we can get it. Come on. It's probably that. Um, I'm guessing there. Which will be that. I'm hoping I've done that right. Fingers crossed. Well, I do like, look, the deer are coming through the gate. <laughs> That's brilliant. I love it. We could have some of these ones outside as well. But I like having these little watchtowers. Fingers crossed I've done that right. I think I have. That looks kind of cool, actually. I like that. So we got the bridge there. Our oh, sandstone road. It is a shame that it... Maybe if we get a double archway later on, I could probably do that. No doubt he will do a double. So maybe that won't be driving me crazy for too long. 
um, canals. So now we can bring these along. We got a little. We have got the little dock. Put that in there as well. You can literally just bring this right along. There's nothing else really in here that I want. I could go. I could go with another fishing one, I suppose. Don't want a trader really. So, one of these pieces will probably be, have to be changed in the long run. Right, so let's just get a few of these put in. Actually, let's put another bridge in. I think, well, yeah, we'll stop about that. Yeah, one of these pieces here, I think maybe that one. Might need to remove more than that. What's that one? That's a straight piece as well. Let's remove that as well. Because we want to bring it down here, don't we? So, whoops. Which would be one of these. Yeah, probably, probably better there. Does this normal piece work? No. Hopefully that's right. I hate it when he does this. Oh, he's not finished. I thought he was glitching on me for a second. Yeah, once that's built, we could bring that down and have the farm to either side. And we might even use... Where is it? Yeah, we might even use some of this as well. It's just a shame we don't have a bridge similar to this one for a pathway. Because we can build the bridges across rivers, but we haven't got one that... We'll skip over objects like that, that they can physically walk over. I think that might be too difficult. Not not for me, obviously, but for the likes of Kralyug to make. Because it would have to not interfere with the other objects, but at the same time, they would have to recognise it as a road, as they just casually drop into the, into the abyss there. I think that is, though, a good spot to leave this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments. But until next time, as always, take care.